<laughs> Write down these four words. Number one, technology. Number two, policy. Number three, social. Number four, terrestrial. You may be wondering why these words are of relevance to you. Or perchance these are mere muses which might not concern you. Let us take our lessons from history. Looking back, a greater majority of us did not prepare for the big changes which floored the middle class in the early to mid 2000s. This next wave, by the way, in the 2020s, will shake the foundations of the planet, and in some ways, quite literary. Lords and ladies, I am about to disclose with you a fragmented glimpse of our future as a society, or perhaps even as a human civilization. Now then, let us begin. Turn your mind's eye inward from the popular outlets of misinformation and disinformation so that we may recognize the components and objects which obscure our view of the real world, eluded to us in its shadows surrounding wishful devices of public deception. Whilst the many look to the media or to alternative yellow journalism, under the cover of narratives, the world elite usher in their mechanisms of energy control. Of these energy vampires, big banks, and very old banks, and institutions all want their place, oh yes, their piece of the action in a rising of the triad, yes, the new financial system. But this system goes beyond the territory of banking and fintech. Its reach is a unique protocol to control ledgers for not merely the monies of the world, but every other kind of transaction of energy imaginable in the universe. This includes people and things down the page of this multi-dimensional mind map and flowchart. Yet, while these findings can be easily read in between the lines of public policy, the gears and the pulleys are driving the quantum mechanics of a global centrifuge. Feel the heat, boys and girls. Tick, tock. Swaying is the pendulum in the old grandfather clock. Speaking of the old Europe, the stellar blockchain has become so attractive to a very old bank, won't name any names, that the euro is now going on to that digital ledger. But that's old news, old chap, and I'll wager a bet. You didn't even know about it. Even though the first mentioning of it, I can trace all the way back to the beginning of January of this year, of 2021. And this is my point precisely. The mechanisms of public distraction have done their job all too well. But enough of this merriment. You want to know what the four elements of the future are in much more detail. 
and I won't disappoint you. The first element is, but as a matter of course, the technology which is at its worst an ideal possibility, but which does not reach its full potential without the second element, which is, as a matter of course, policy. The first two elements have been infused already. Though the news of this activity is not made entirely popular by any stretch of the imagination, the third element is social. Yes, the body social. I'm not talking about that really. I'm talking about social science, social control, social conditioning, and of course your social acceptance. Well, we've already given much of our consent to releasing control of our own data, lest you own your digital twin by means either shrewd or high tech. This social control will be adopting, well, it will be the adopting platform for public approval once it's explained to the many in an elementary form across Twitter, Facebook, and popular SNS. The fourth element is where the forces will exist or cease to exist. And this leaves us with a consideration. Most of us have either denied or were indoctrinated into a false perception of actual theoretic forces and the alignment of the ancient cosmic archons. Terrestrial is the element of Earth changes. But not only this. Terrestrial also entails where and how we might live in the next few years to the next decade from now. All of these elements will either work together or act as obstacles to one another. Either way, the life that we've known thus far will be disrupted, and perhaps on a scale of what goes beyond what we have imagined thus far. Think about that, my friends. Think about what it might mean. In the past, the blockchains, a few years ago, which, by the way, are digital ledgers, records, in layman terms. In the past, the blockchains, some years ago, a few years back, accounted for well over 800 public record networks, each consisting of myriad computers called nodes, and these could not communicate too well between different systems. That is to say that blockchains tend to work uniquely in terms of language. But today, this is changing rapidly with Engine's affinity, Stellar, Fetch AI, and the power of Katina's pack language, and of course the R3. What this means is the power of interconnection between institutions and globally. It also means a far easier method for moving money across borders and indeed anonymously. As a matter of course, the ordinary person like you or me is not going to be allowed to remain so anonymous. Though, of course, the structure of these digital ledgers does not make it, what well, doesn't make it very easy for the brokers to report to tax collectors. Mm -hmm. I assure you, they are working hard fast, steadfast to remedy that little snag. 
So, bad news is we can run, but we can't hide. Not forever. Not unless the world terrifically transforms out of the old bureaucracy. Out of the old bureaucracy and into a new frontier of renewed human freedoms. Now that's just the part where psionics comes in real handy. And you may be well aware, the future of these technologies is entirely digital. And many technologies emerging will border on the territory of the near impossible. The technology of the days ahead will become nearly indistinguishable from magic. And in a number of ways. But what really is of interest to me and to my students here, and to my good friends listening this evening, is when things become less tangible, then our psionic ability to influence these parcels of the digital convention becomes greater than what we've known or have imagined thus far. Quite literally, the power of your mind will have all manner of new toys and methods to bend the world to our will. But first and foremost, you will take the Academy. Yes, take the Sonics Academy to be prepared for the work and, indeed, albeit, with the fun ahead. Begin and go to verlick.com slash shop and download the Academy, begin your study and master psionics properly in less than three hours. And that is where you will begin. We thank you for joining me again, my friends, and until next time, have this merry little gathering in the hallowed hours under the cover of darkness, I want to remind you, keep the magic Hi, this is Zeradoktor on Verlock, signing out.